example, if a client's spouse were to call up and say, what's in my account? The broker dealer cannot provide that information unless the client gives. Hey, YouTube people. I mentioned on one of my earlier videos that I'm studying for a regulatory test and uh, it's a monstrous test actually. Um, I thought I'd share a couple of my study techniques. My study system really is based on being organized and doing the work. Um, eventually, maybe on a different channel, not on my guitar channel, I might start a series about, I don't know, I thought a clever title would be The Lousy Student's Guide to Getting Good Grades because I used to be a lousy student and then somehow I turned it around and I learned how to study. And um, so anyway, I thought I'd show this to you. I mentioned... Um, I have a ton of flashcards here. Let me see if I can turn this around. Currently, I'm studying for a regulatory test. And so I've got 16 chapters of material. And for each chapter of material, I've got a stack of flashcards here. And uh, I think being a good studier, you really need to know your own style. And what I've learned for myself is that when I'm reading dry text, reading alone doesn't do it for me. I got to interact with the material. The other thing is to get some references besides the material that you're studying. So um, you need to be able to cut through the jargon, so to speak. A lot of industries, including mine, have a lot of jargon. And really, what's jargon? It's just a barrier to keep people out, right? So you need to figure out what they're talking about. Um, the other thing that my study system is predicated on is doing the work. So... It's not really a system of shortcuts, and in my experience for some of these regulatory tests, especially in the investment industry, if you're trying to shortcut it, you may as well not even be taking the test. It's You're going to fail if you try to shortcut it. At least that's been my experience for myself. So, so anyway, um, I mentioned this idea of the lousy student's guide to getting good grades, and obviously it's been a while since I was in college. You know, I graduated college in 99 with a bachelor's and a master's, uh, but also had an earlier period in college where I wasn't successful. So some of my rules, you know, one, do a little bit of work every day. Two, always show up. Um, three, kind of know yourself. There's times where, hey, I'm alert. I'm feeling good. I'm going to dig deep into the text. Other times where, hey, maybe I worked all day, I'm burned out, you know, I'm going to go through my flashcards. Um, so I, that's one of the reasons I have the flashcards is so I can slip in small periods of study um, between the intense study sessions. Then the other thing, I can't really show you because my phone's recording right now, but I use my phone a lot. I record the lectures that way when I'm driving to work and I have dead time in the car, I can listen to the material and try to get it in my brain. Um, so I learned most of these techniques actually when I was in college. Back then it was really hard to tape lectures. You know, you used to have these little cassette things and it was a real hassle. I think today with modern technology, um, if I had had an iPhone back when I was in college, that would really have helped, especially uh, when I had boring or long lectures. The other thing I will do is I'm not in college anymore, but I do the same thing with the studying here. You know, I'm not going to do a six hour marathon session after studying dry material after about 90 minutes, I'm ready to get out of there. So I'd rather have more bite sized study sessions rather than a long six hour study session. So um, I know this video is a little bit of a deviation from my usual talk on guitar, but, uh, I know a lot of guitar players in the real world also hold full-time jobs, so I just thought I'd share a little bit about my day job. I normally do have a wall of separation between my personal life and my business life, but I um, figured I'd let you peek behind the curtain. So anyway, that's all I got. I'm out.